in campaign 2018. And tonight, we continue our profile of major candidates for governor. State Treasurer John Chung would be the first Asian American to serve as governor. KKL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan sat down with him. Part of the people say, hey, John, you know, the, uh, you're a little bit too wonky, right? You talk a little bit too substantively. State uh, Treasurer John issues. Chung admits he's an all-substance, no-drama candidate, and some voters like more flash. But when he's not working... I'm an everyday guy. The, uh, you know, lo love my college football, you know, used to play basketballs on Sundays. Yeah. How's your three-point shot? Oh, my three-point shot? The, uh, uh, I'm pretty streaky. But when it comes to his job and his politics, Chung is all business. He was elected state treasurer four years ago after serving two terms as state controller. He's a finance guy, and back in 2011, he got plenty of attention when he withheld pay for state assembly members and senators when they failed to pass a balanced budget by the legal deadline. He's the eldest son of immigrants from Taiwan, and he grew up in Chicago and New York before heading west, where he worked for Senator Barbara Boxer and Gray Davis, who was the state controller at the time. He says it will take a money guy to address the looming financial crisis for school districts across the state, including including the LAUSD. Here in Los Angeles, we know the Los Angeles Unified School District, the largest school district in the state of California, has huge unfunded liabilities and obligations. So that next governor is going to have to have a vision about making sure uh, that we protect the Los Angeles Unified School District. Chung says creating affordable housing and increasing funding for colleges and universities are also among his top priorities. We need to make sure that we prioritize California students first. Uh, California parents are feeling so frustrated that they invest in this state, yet their child, after being educated here, have to oftentimes have to look elsewhere. They can't get into the UC or CSU of their choice. But the Chung campaign is also engaged in a TV ad war with rival Democrats Gavin Newsom and Antonio Villaraigosa, with tough charges flying back and forth. The race for governor has turned into a scam. Gavin Newsom's trying to elect a Republican who is endorsed by Trump. And Vera Ghost is being bankrolled by a handful of billionaires. And the attacks are being returned on Chung. As California controller, John Chung's job was to count the money. But the state auditor found Chung lost track of $31 billion. That's right, billion with a B. Of course, the danger of an all-out TV ad attack war like this is that voters who are Democrats may decide a pox on all your houses and vote for someone else. Or, if they're really turned off, they could just stay home and not vote at all. Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.